Hi, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use uh, Maya Render Nodes to uh, shine on objects. Like that way, you can see what's uh, hidden behind another object. This would be good, let's say, for games. If let's say you have a building and you want to, uh, here, let me show you what I'm trying to show you. Let me open the file. Save. Okay. Here, I have a building, so I can't see it if I set this one and I move it away from it and then if I, if I hit render right now you don't see anything however if I move the light over and I hit render now I see something hidden behind there so if I go into f number 4 which is wireframe I have two objects okay if I hit IPR rendering I can rotate it Make sure I draw a selection box first, see right there. So that way this is good for uh, to see what's be hidden behind another object. Uh, I've seen this one in a movie Triple X where Vin Diesel he's a spy agent and the enemy were hidden behind a wall and he has this device, a uh, spy gadget, and he could shine on the wall to see uh, what the enemy is doing behind the wall. Okay, so I'll be showing you how to do this. So let me create a new file. Okay, uh, there are two ways to do this. The first way would be, let me show you one way and another way. I'm going to go polygon. I'm going to create a floor. And then I'm going to create a polygon uh, cube. And I'm going to put some objects behind it. Press G to create another one. Okay, so press 5. So I'm going to select this object, hit shift T, and I'm going to assign, let's say, Lambert, because I want to create, put uh, any texture, I'm going to put a brick texture, so when you select it, okay, right here it's a Lambert, make sure you uh, go into the Lambert tab, and color, click on the checkerboard, go file, make sure in the file tab up here, and then click on the yellow folder. I'm going to look for my uh, break. I think it's this one right here. Yep. And then if I press 6 on my keyboard, I should see it. Now, uh, next to the file is the, um, the placement 2D node. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, repeat UV twice. Or you can do four times. So now it's much more. Okay, there's one method would be, uh, let me create a light, let's say a spotlight, I'm going to drag it out, so right there, I'm not going to point it yet, and I need to open Hypershade, custom, Hypershade, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I need another node, open this icon, and I can type in surface, and the one that I want is the surface luminance. And we'll close this. Okay, so now what I want to do is um, connect the surface luminance to the, the shader of the object. Not the object itself, but the shader. Okay, so hold down middle mouse and drag over here. And choose other. Now you want to click the out value to the transparency. Okay, one, two, and three. RGB. Connect. Okay, so now if let's say I hit render. Okay, let me make this one. Let me click this icon. The camera attribute. Um, make sure you scroll all the way down until you see environment. Double click the black color. I'm going to type in right here 200.2.5 Hit done and Let me hit render again, now I see the object Okay, so if I take the light So I shine it on it Draw a selection box Now I see something hidden behind it Okay, so I mean something hidden inside Now, I know the product, the scene is too dark So let's say if I add another light Another thing is, even if I um, reopen the hypershade, 
If I middle mouse drag the light over to here, and I choose default. Okay, what you need to do is scroll down until you see halfway down until you see light data. If you select light data, and over here you connect to the light data array. Okay, once you click on it, it's actually connected. It's right there. Okay, even though it doesn't seem like it. Close it. So now if I hit render, okay, right there. Okay, but the problem with this is, uh, let me show you. Let's say, I know it seems too dark. If I create another light, let's say I go direction light, which is like to represent sunlight. And let's say I shine like this. Okay, so if I render, so uh, let me move it over. What you can do is go to panel, look through selected. Now I'm looking through the uh, the light. Okay, and then once you're done. Go to panel, perspective, perspective, and I hit, let me hit render again. Wow, this time I didn't do it. so. The previously, when I did this, well, what happens is the whole object become transparent, but now I don't know why the time I didn't do it like that. So, where's my other light? Here's my other light. So, if I move it away from it, render it, now I, I can see inside it. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Another way would be, let me show you another technique to do this. Let me minimize this. So now, let me open Hypershade. Here's my direction in the light, I don't need it. Okay, instead of using this one, another technique, what you can do is, uh, let me show you. Okay, let me, where's my light? Here's my spotlight. Okay, instead of connecting to directly to here, okay, let me create a new light instead. I'm going to move this one over. Shine away, so if I hit render, I, I, I don't see anything through it, so now I'm going to create a new light. And I'm going to pick, pick a spotlight. Again, I'm going to move it away. Right there. So right now if I shine on it, Okay, all this is shining the light on it, okay? So what I can do is this. Uh, here's my hyper shade, and let me see. Here's my spotlight. What you can do is middle mouse drag, um, let me disconnect this part right here. Select it and hit delete. So right now I have no, nothing um, um, shining through it. So now if I hold down middle mouse drag this one over here, and choose other. What I can do is scroll halfway down until I see light, light data. Select the light, open up, make sure you pick light intensity. And next to it, you pick uh, transparency. Okay, right there. You don't need to open it, you just click on it and now uh, close it. Okay, right now I have only, instead of using these two nodes right here, the mic and the other spotlight, I only need to use one spotlight and hook up to transparency. Now make sure you, uh, just go all the way half halfway down and make sure you pick this light data. Okay, there's another light intensity up somewhere up here or down here. Make sure you don't pick that one. Make sure you pick the light data. So let me close it. So now if I hit render, okay. Now the problem with this is, let's select this light. Minimize this and make sure you're in the attribute editor. Okay, attribute. Editor. Make sure make sure you're in the spotlight shape. Right here is the problem. The cone angle is 40, which is too high. Go down to 20. So if I, let's say, hit render. See right there? It becomes much smaller. And another thing is you need to change the uh, penumbra angle to 5. Drop off to 5. Okay. So I hit render again. Again, the problem is um, there's no decay. So let me go decay to quadratic. Okay, now when the moment you change the quadratic, the light will drop off very uh, quickly. So right now you don't see anything, so what you do is you boost up this up to 200. 200. So if I render it, 
right there okay now you can see it another thing is um what I suggest you to do is okay here's a problem let's say if I zoom in let me click this icon so I can I know where to render okay the problem is uh, let's say if I render okay I mean you can see through the object however um, you uh, you don't see where the light is so that's why you um, click the light fog here and right now if I hit render okay it's becomes too bright so what you need to do is um, let me uh, okay if I decrease this one down I'll show you what it does okay okay if I decrease it really more okay so you see how the light kind of dims out like that and if I uh, another thing is the density let's me put it back up to one render it okay now the light will become intense if I uh, move this one really low down okay so pay attention to this white line right here okay so the lower you drag down see how this white area dies out like that so you can uh, play around with settings and see which one is best okay so another thing is you, what you can do is change let's say I don't want the white line I can double click on it just go into uh, blue change to nice blue done or oh, make sure you low down the let's try like this done and then you render again now you have a much more realistic light okay let's go back you, you, you sometimes you can go back clicking this button if you cannot then uh, I usually select the light and next to it here run the light effects again if I low down this one down okay you can see anything if I increase it more you see it okay that's the spread how much spread you want see that's that's more spread right here so they usually I keep around one is good enough and then this one if I go really low down I got you don't the, the intensity is gone you know? so you can keep this 0.6 okay so you got or you can change which uh, whichever you got so again if you click on this one right here you can change this to however uh, whichever intensity you want okay right there let me just move this one over right there okay 